introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Mikhail Zuski. I'm a newly a pro boxer. And uh, I'm signing with TKO Promotion today. Just happy. That sounds great. Yeah? Let me shake your hand. Um, this is the Suzanne Depperman Show and the Jack Boxer show, show, Channel 56, Time Warner Cable. And we're here at Gallagher's Restaurant. So tell me, when is your next fight? Uh, I don't know when it's going to be my first fight, but I'm so excited about it. It's probably going to be in the end of January or beginning of February. And, uh, I just can't wait for that first fight in the pros because I got already uh, 160 fights in the amateurs. But uh, like, it's, it's a totally different game in the pros, so I just can't wait to have that first fight and feel the eight ounces in my hands and just punch with the eight ounces. I just can't wait for that moment. And tell me something, when did you start boxing? How old were you? Did you hang out at the gym as a kid? Yeah, I hang out in the gym. I was nine when I first started. And, uh, so that's 11 years ago. And uh, like I said, I got 165, which is a lot in Canada, because uh, here in the States, you can have uh, more than that. But in Canada, it's a lot. And um, yeah, I started at nine, and I grew up in boxing. And I, I always trained, and here I am today. So you, you were born in? I was born in Canada, in Toronto, yeah, in Canada. I'm looking forward and to And you're it. a good talker, thanks. <laughs> I'll get on the side of the camera now. I just had to accuse you a little bit. <laughs> okay. okay. Tell me about your manager. My manager? Yeah. Okay, with, on the camera? Yeah. yeah, from Canada. So you both are guys are in, in, living in Canada? Yeah, I'm living in Canada right well, now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm going to... I can't wait to... I can't wait to hear more about you. <laughs> and, um... Uh, uh, good luck. Thank you very much. You're very Impressive young man. Where did you find him? Oh, I know, I should turn off that bright light. No, I found him at the Worlds. Found him at the Worlds. You know what I think? I'm going to start going to the boxing gym. <laughs> or I'm going to learn. I wish we didn't have to learn from age 9. I'm age 50 and I'm ready to go to the gym and start my boxing career. Um, Hello, Ed. So you just flew in from Canada tonight? No, they flew in from Canada. Oh, so you've been living in... Place. I manage him. He's, I'm from Las Vegas. Well, you did a great job, and, and I love this the, the, this choice of the press conference, Gallagher Steakhouse. What could be better than that? Chris North did that. Oh, it's did he? His choice. <laughs> yes. Oh, Chris, you've got a gift for locations. It's the, it's the mecca for a press conference. Yes, it is. And you know what? We're all going to be seeing stars because we're... we're, we're, we're Find a better way. I work for Burnfield for a little bit, and I put you on, put you on there, and uh, that was before you got with Sloan. And you were just like, wow, 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 Three boxing fans to action pack events in world class boxing. Uh, in 2009, we promoted 23 events. Uh, as I said, Las Vegas, Houston, Baltimore, Reno, New York, Pennsylvania, Los Angeles, and we plan for at least 30 shows in 2010. Uh, the promotional plan. We're going to be part of that community. We're going to be part of that community. And, uh, and, and I think people recognize that. And the other thing that I think that's most important is, you know, I began as a manager and, you know, carried the spit buckets for, my, for some of my fighters because I wanted to see what it was like from, you know, from whatever level. And, uh, and, and our, you know, what's important to me and it's important to everybody who works at TKO is that we treat everybody the same way, whether it's the, the hometown hero. Okay, news being confirmed. If you have any questions, by all means, feel free to contact me by cell or by phone or by email. Thank you again for coming. It's a pleasure to be here in New York. Jay Leon Love, and I'm the top amateur for the USA, and I'm getting ready to sign with TKL Promotions. That sounds great. Now tell me something, where are you from originally? Um, Detroit, Michigan. Well, I'm so happy to see you here in New York. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. Take care. All right, thank you.
Thank you. It's my mother. Yeah. Yes, I did. Good. So did I. You. Pretty good. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. I love Philadelphia. <laughs> tough city, tough city. <laughs> but my name is Henry Lundy, also known as Hammer and Hank Lundy, one of the best kept seekers in Philly. Um, they call me Mr. ESPN. I'm a sight and fighter from Philadelphia. Have knockout power in both hands. 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Current UBC world champion. Hand of the man with the quick hand. <laughs> I've noticed you here and I, I can't, I feel really blessed that I got you on camera. Go Phillies. This is for the Jackbox show. I'm not going to ask you what's your name. Hammer and Hank Lennon. Yeah. He's from Philly. Yes. You grew up in Philly? Grew up in Philadelphia. So tell us something about Philly. Well, Philly is like a tough town, you know, you got to always be ready. These guys, and they, they, you know, any any given day, you can walk into a gym and see a main event fight. But, like, one thing about me, what I try to do is stay in shape all the time. I mean, I live in the gym. I mean, I can say, for example, Thanksgiving, I was in the gym training. I mean, Philly's a do-or-die city. You got to bring it. You die, right? <laughs> yeah. But what is the thing about brotherly love? Well, it's a lot of brotherly love, like, um... I just signed with um, Ivan Cohen, my manager, and you know, he took a lot of Yeah, we love you too. Bro. Yeah, and that, yeah. Yeah. Stop, bro. Yeah. we love you too. Tom from South Philadelphia. I love South Philadelphia. Do you know Joe Tenuto? Yeah. Joe Tenuto. Do you know Joe Tenuto? My neighbor. <laughs> I love Joe. You, you gotta give me. I'm going to call him right now. I was an actual football star for John Barcher High School. I played running back. Um, I got a partial scholarship at Cookstown University. But my last year, I got into like an altercation with an older guy. He's about like, um, I think he was like about like 24. And I was 18. This is my senior year. And the guy, he was bullying kids around. And this was like my last fight as being a senior. The last fight on the street, the street carry, and you go on the boxing world. Okay, say your name again. My name is Hammer and Hank Lundy, 16 and 0, 10 knockouts, UBC world champ. From Philadelphia. From Philadelphia. <laughs> City of brotherly love, but sometimes it ain't no love when I step in that ring. <laughs> We're now talking about Mayweather and Pacquiao. Who, who do you think about Man, him? Like? Nah, that's the that's that's it's difficult because uh Mayweather he he wants to, I mean to me he's he's a great fighter, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, he's he's uh, dominated the sport, you know. Uh, we don't know, you know, it can go either way, you know. Floyd is a is a patient and intelligent fighter, you know, uh you know, he's not going to get hit too much, and he's not going to do much to get hit, you know? He's going to do enough to win the fight or win the rounds, you know what I mean? And Manny Pacquiao, I think that'll, with Manny Pacquiao, that'll frustrate him, you know what I mean? So, uh, make him more vulnerable to be hit. So, Did you see the fight last weekend, Paul Williams and uh, Sergio Martinez? Yeah, yeah, I mean... What you thought about that fight? I don't know, man. I, I, that's the, I think he has... The, Sergio Martinez gave Paul Williams you know, a, a, a lot to handle, you know what I mean? And, it, and he exposed Paul Williams, you know? Uh, Paul Williams, you know, they're both not punchers, you know? I, I like to see punchers. I'm a puncher myself, you know? And, uh, you know, and they go down the stretch, some clean shots that are landed, you know? A lot of these, you know, big... Hey, Karen, I don't know. I've been boxing.